Welcome back to the Best PT Podcast, episode 2.4, Upper Extremity Joints. Starting with the glenohumeral joint, it is a convex unconcave joint with the convex humeral head moving on the concave glenoid fossa. The loose packed position is 55 degrees of abduction and 30 degrees of horizontal adduction. The closed pack position is abduction and lateral rotation. And the capsular pattern of the glenohumeral joint is external rotation greater than abduction greater than internal rotation or irabier. Moving down to the sternoclavicular joint, we know that it is a saddle joint. The loose packed position is the arm resting at the side. The closed pack position is maximal shoulder elevation. In the capsular pattern is pain at extremes of the joint range of motion. The acromioclavicular joint is a planar joint. The loose packed position is the arm resting at the side and the closed pack position is 90 degrees of arm abduction and once again the capsular pattern is pain at the extremes of joint range of motion. Moving down, radiohumeral joint is a convex on concave joint with the convex distal humerus capitulum moving on the concave radial head. The loose packed position is full extension and supination the closed pack position is 90 degrees of flexion and 5 degrees of supination. And the capsular pattern is flexion, more limited than extension, more limited than supination, more limited than pronation. The ulnar humeral joint, hourglass humeral trochlea, moving on the trochlear notch of the ulna. Loose pack position, 70 degrees of flexion. 10 degrees of supination. The closed pack position, full extension. And the capsular pattern is flexion, more limited than extension. The proximal radial ulna joint, the concave radial notch of the ulna, moves on the convex radial rim. Loose packed position is 70 degrees of flexion and 35 degrees of supination. The closed pack position, 5 degrees of supination. And the capsular pattern is supination more limited than pronation. The last joint, the radiocarpal joint, is a planar joint. Loose packed position. Neutral with slight ulnar deviation. The closed packed position, extension and radial deviation. Capsular pattern, flexion is equally limited as extension. A general rule for the upper extremity is that fingers and elbows are concave moving on convex. The rest are convex moving on concave. The only exception to this rule is the first carpal metacarpal joint at the thumb, which is a saddle joint. As always, the outline for this episode will be in the show notes. The next episode, 2.5, will cover the lower extremity joints. Thank you.